Sorry everyone, I wasn't the biggest fan of Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Though I remember as a child finding the book or reading the book, but I never really fell in love with the movie. I didn't see it in the theaters, I just later saw it on video or cable. And maybe that wasn't the way to see this kind of movie, but I just didn't really get into it. But it was a success. This movie was a very successful film back in 2009, and now in 2013 we get Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. I wish they could have come out with like a more creative title because I don't remember seeing any meatballs in this movie, though it did get cloudy. It did get cloudy. So the film stars Bill Hader and it picks up right after the last film. Uh, other voice talents in this film are Anna Ferris, Will Forte, Neil Patrick Harris, James Caan, and some other people that I just can't remember right now at this moment. But it, 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 it takes, you know, it takes like, like moments after the last film. You know, the island is now just a disaster. I mean, there's just food particles everywhere, and this very famous scientist or inventor, I should say, not, not a scientist, comes and says, okay, we're going to take over this island and you're going to go live in San Fran Jose, California. I thought that was pretty clever. So the town goes and lives there and they're going to take care of the, you know, the scientists, whatever this, the scientists, this, why do I say scientist? This inventor that is just uh, someone that uh, our main character, I don't remember what his name, Bill Hader's character actually looks up to. But of course certain events, they have to go to the island because there are certain things that are happening on this island. Now the food has come to life and it's kind of like an animal slash food forest of people, a jungle, whatever you want to call it. And of course we're on this new adventure. So again, you know, I wasn't really excited to see this movie at all. I did not go and see it in 3D, though I noticed that this probably would have been pretty awesome to see in 3D. But you know, yeah, I just didn't care. I really didn't care, even though I liked the voice talents in this film. So as the movie was happening, and I was the first thing I really noticed about this film that I really enjoyed was the fact that it just looked really good. I mean, the animation and all the colors, the colors of the rainbow were on all display, and it was just so beautiful. And of course, the voice work by everyone involved. I just, I loved it. Even though you could recognize the voices of these actors, they really got into these characters, and you really kind of cared about them, even though I have to say this story was done a lot better when it came to a film called Up. Now I know this is not an original idea, but it does deal with people who idolize other people and then they find the truth out about those certain people, that they're maybe not as perfect as they seem. I felt like that story was done better in Up because we learn right in like the first act who the bad guy is and there's really no surprise. Uh, so I guess I have to say the story didn't really appeal to me as well as the humor. I felt the humor was just for kids. I mean, this, this is a kids movie. I think the family can enjoy it. I just felt like the humor was just for the younger audience and it was quite juvenile at some times. But I found myself, slowly as the movie was going, even though those things were bothering me, I was enjoying the voice work and the animation and the way it looked. And I was like, you know what, maybe, maybe I'll go back and I'll watch the original film again and, it'll, and maybe my mind will change. But I have to say, this is a really good improvement on the last film. And I was really quite surprised how much I did enjoy this film overall. I liked some of the characters that were these quasi, uh, these like fruit, food, animal things. Especially there was this one that was like a strawberry named Barry. And I swear there's this one scene where this Barry really sounds like Cartman. I even checked the credits to see if I could find Trey Parker's name. I didn't find it anywhere. So it's not Trey Parker that's doing the voice. But man, it just sounded just like Cartman. Uh, it wasn't as foul as Cartman, you know. It was just, it added a little humor and I was like, ah, this movie's growing on me. Ah, I, I like this film. It's not a perfect film. It's not something that I'm waiting for the third film. I'm not waiting for the third film, but if it happens, I'll go see it. I'm gonna give the second film, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2, really original title you got there, three stars. I'm Movie Man Chad. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. And if you love to see animated films, but you can only see them in 2D, which is probably the best way to go anyway, it saves you money. I highly recommend you check out MoviePass.com. Gotta go, the timer's up, and I'll talk to you later. Bye! MoviePass.com.